Hello, today I'll be going over the HP Stream PC. I purchased this a few months ago and I thought it was a good enough product I would do a review on it. I'll post a few links in the comments below to where I purchased it along with some of the upgrades I purchased. As you can see it fits in my hands so it is a very small device, very lightweight. There are several models out there and these are the specifics for the model I purchased. It has an Intel Celeron 2957U processor, 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 32 gig SSD, Windows 8.1 with a free upgrade to Windows 10, Bluetooth 4.0, 802.11 BGN wireless, so a lot of functionality built in. On the front there's two USB 3.0 along with the power button. On the side you can see the multi-card reader. On the back it has a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with RJ45 connection, two USB 3.0 connections, an HDMI output and a display port output and then also the power supply connection. It provides upgrading pretty easily. On the back you just pull on the bottom rubber flap and there's some screws. The memory is easy to change out. The M2 SSD you have to remove a few screws but it's still pretty easy to remove it. I will leave a link below in the comments for some of the other sites to show you how to do those upgrades. Overall impressions, it's an excellent choice for a HTPC home theater PC. Recommend at least upgrading the hard drive and getting a wireless keyboard, which I'll provide the link for. If you want to make it an HTPC, I do recommend installing Plex and possibly some other applications, which I'll cover in future episodes. The pros would be that it's a great buy for the money. With the upgrades, I spent around $350, $400. It's small, as you can see, fits in my hand. You can see browsers on your TV such as Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, so anything you can get to on the internet you can display on your TV, uh, including YouTube. Output is HDMI, so you can feed that through your surround sound receiver, both audio and video if your receiver does that. The cons I would say are that the initial hard drive is really small, especially for upgrading to Windows 10, and it's not for gaming because it doesn't have a high-powered video card in it. And then color because it only comes in blue, so if you don't like blue, then you're out of luck.